the Guardian Angels is a group of volunteers that started in New York City in the late 70s, uh, right when New York was at its worst. There were no police on the streets at night because the economy was so bad that the city couldn't afford to pay them. So crime was rampant. The city was bankrupt and there was nothing but violence, muggings, rapes, kidnappings, extortions, all of that stuff that you can even imagine. It was all true. So Curtis Lewa, who was the nighttime manager at a 24 hour McDonald's used to have to ride the subway to and from work at like three and four in the morning. And he was just sick and tired of people getting robbed and mugged and beaten. So he made a deal with all these guys, these kids getting out of jail, out of youth detention, because they needed jobs. So he said, I'm going to hire you at McDonald's. We're going to call you the Burger Boys. We're going to have a police radio. When we hear that there's a gang fight or something, we're going to close McDonald's. We're going to hit the streets. We're going to clean the neighborhood. We're going to wipe these motherfuckers off the street. So that's kind of how it started. So they were like a vigilante group. Um, complete volunteers, and the police didn't like them, so they would end up in jail every weekend with the same criminals they were fighting. So they all weekend long was just a beating. But it's evolved now, and we've got over 400 different programs for youth, community service, people getting out of prisons, out of out of, out of domestic violence situations. We we have millions and millions and millions of people who support this. We're in over 120 different countries. Um, it's just an amazing lifestyle because it gets the community involved in it. So it's like a deterrent, you know what I mean? It used to yeah. be just patrolling neighborhoods, uh, helping people feel safe so that people couldn't sell drugs or there would be no muggings because there was just so many guardian angels on the corner watching. But we go out at uniform. We have a red jacket. We wear the red beret. Our logo is the wings. It says Guardian Angels. Uh, and we just kind of patrol the neighborhoods offering assistance. But now that there's so much security out there, we've evolved into other things. We have youth programs, um, you know, martial arts classes. We got dance classes. We got uh, life skill classes, first aid classes. We got a whole bunch of programs. So it's just a volunteer thing, and it's it just makes one feel complete. Yeah, and it definitely sounds like it's a, a benefit to a community to have that, um, you know, as you said, it was more to sort of clean up the streets, but now sort of being more involved in the community, like to give these kids that maybe trouble use a place where they can sort of understand that they don't have to go down that path of negativity and, and, and the life on the street. Yep, and there's, you know, there's no discrimination, there's no prejudice uh, none of that. We, we were unarmed. Um, we have no special privileges. We don't act like police. We're just concerned citizens who want everybody to have the same opportunity to have a, a safe, good quality of life. That's it. And that's a complete, um, that's a, a complete volunteer, um, yeah. thing. The guardian angels, is it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. And how, how much of your time do you find that you, you're spending, yeah, you know, with the Guardian Angels and working. I mean, I've been I've been in the Guardian Angels uh, just a little over twenty years. So, you know what this, it, it, this for people like me or people who are this involved, it's kind of like a calling. So yeah, you're always in Guardian Angel mode. You know the way you think, uh, the protocols you follow, the etiquette, and things like that. Um, I've really been struggling with this mental health stuff. So I've, I've cracked a bit, you know what I mean? A little bit, uh, I've forgotten some, some things a little bit more aggressive, but I shouldn't do that. But, uh, if you're, if you're in the guardian angels and you're representing them at this level, like I do, uh, it's a 24 hour thing that you're, you know, you're kind of on call. Yeah. And, you know, with, with that, you know, obviously being a, a you know, a, a wrestling star and someone who has a, you know, a, a celebrity status as well, you know, that obviously gives those kids that are looking up to, since you've been in it for 20 years, give you someone to look up to saying, okay, well, you know, Vampiro is doing this. And, you know, did you find that you get that sort of reaction from some of these troubled kids where they're like, they're looking up to guys like yourself or people that they've seen on television to really th think, okay, this guy hasn't gone down this path or this guy is now doing this maybe going down and becoming a guardian angel is something I should do. 
uh, it's that was exactly the reason I got. Well, I, I saw the Guardian Angels when they started. I was nine years old, and I saw them on the news when it happened in New York City. You know, these guys that would go down with uh, their uniforms and the red berets uh, and patrol the subways using martial arts to defend people against crime. I thought that was the coolest thing ever in the history of the fucking human race. <laughs> I have to do that. And um, so when I was, I, I was really tired of the, I hated wrestling, but I need to address that later. Okay. I'm going to say that just for this conversation. Um, mm -hmm. So I was doing everything to get away from it. And I was looking for what I was going to do with the fame that I had, because it was illogical to throw that fame away. Yeah. So instead of uh, doing stupid fucking um, soap operas and things like that, uh, which I should have done, um, I thought I can go to the streets where I came from and use that persona to open the doors um, in areas that are a little rougher around the edges, you know what I'm saying? And it definitely worked, and, and it's a blessing that Vampiro was able to do that. Oh, absolutely. We have got a question from uh, one of our audience members, Tyler Peck, who said, how would one get involved in the Guardian Angels? Uh, there, there, there are no guardian angels in, in Australia. I don't think. No, uh, Tyler is in, in Georgia in the United States. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, is he? I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah oh. Sorry. He, he's in the United States. I believe. Um, all it's Tyler. It's really easy. It's you go to guardianangels.org, guardianangels.org, and you look where the chapters are. And you just literally click on the link and it'll take you to the direct contact of the chapter leader. And that's that easy. You call them, make an appointment. They'll do a very quick interview with you. If you go out on patrol, it's like a trial air, uh, trial. And just so that you can see what it's like and they'll talk to you on the, you know what I mean? And then if you're going to commit, it's a three month trial. So they get to know you. They're going to know how you're going to react. They need to train you. You need to learn the first aid, the self-defense, all the laws of the street and the laws of the city. Those are two different things. you got to be cool with the street people, and that yeah. means a community that could fuck you up if you do the wrong thing. So you go through that, and if you're into it, then you get your official uniform and you become a guardian angel. It's, it's pretty cool, but that's the process. There you go, Tyler. Uh, maybe we'll see you out there as, as one of the guardian angels over in the oh, U.S. Yeah. 